Welcome to Psychology Daily. We continue on memory and today I'm going to tell you about one of the most intriguing topics when it comes to memory. But let me ask you one question first. How many memories do you have about first three years of your life? Not many. And that is what is called infantile amnesia. Sigmund Freud thought it happens because of repressed memory of some traumatic event in your childhood. Is it? Let's start with the evidence. People indeed do not remember much before three years old. On your screen you can see distribution of autobiographical memories. This is a very consistent finding. As you can see there is a little memories before three years old. In another study, two to five years old children were asked to recall any detail about birth of sibling that had occurred within two months before. Almost every two years old children could not remember any detail while three years old children could do so. Those findings suggest that children do not encode or, in other words, memorize anything before three years old. Why does it happen? There are several explanations exist. First one is oppressed memory, suggested by Sigmund Frey. But this argument cannot withstand any criticism just because positive or neutral memories are not stored too. The next explanation is cognitive self. Children cannot memorize anything before they develop sense of oneself. After this cognitive self appears, it provides a new framework around which memories can be organized. To test if children have this cognitive self, they place them in front of mirror with red dot on their noses. If children reach in own nose, they understand that mirror is just a reflection of them. Third explanation is social culture theory. According to this theory, language is crucial because we use it to communicate our memories. Before children develop language, it is hard to express in language memories later in childhood. In one study, children used only words already known at the time of event when reported memory of this event 12 months later. This theory also provides evidence for parenting and cultural influence on memory recollection. Finally, neurogenic hypothesis suggests that just because new neurons are generated in the hippocampus during the early years of our life, this process replaces synaptic connections in pre-existing hippocampal memory circuits. In other words, because of normal postnatal changing in your brain, your memories during this period is just lost. Summarizing all the evidence, it is apparently that infantile amnesia exists, and it happens not just because of repressed memory. There are several explanations why it happens, and some of them do not contradict each other. For example, cognitive self and social cultural theory were combined to explain the absence of memories during the first three years, and little memories later in childhood. I hope you enjoyed this video on infantile amnesia. See you tomorrow.